everyone. Welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. I am your host, Katrina Jamison. I'm the founder of Legend Leaders, where we arm female business leaders with the strategies they need to live a legendary life on their terms. This month has been absolutely exciting. Well, maybe not exciting because you've been challenging yourself and asking yourself some really hard questions. But let's say this, this month has been a growth month for sure, especially in your personal leadership area, right? You've been growing in your personal leadership because you've been challenging yourself. If you are a corporate uh, executive, right, a female corporate executive, you've been asking yourself these questions. You've been working through what's holding you back, maybe what's making you feel trapped in your current career, in your current role. And you've been freeing yourself from that. Now, as a caveat, freeing yourself doesn't mean that you've necessarily left your job. It just means that you have a different perspective on it. You have a different frame of mind. You've looked at the story you've been telling yourself and you've adjusted it. You've made changes. Whatever the answer is, maybe you haven't done that. Maybe you're just learning. Maybe you just started your career. You're a year in, but you're learning all of these things because you want to know what to be aware of what to be on the lookout for, what to tell yourself and not tell yourself. No matter where you are in your journey, we're here to guide you. I'm here. I'm here to guide you through it. And there's no wrong journey. That's the other thing that you have to be aware of. And you know this too. Your journey is not wrong. Everyone's is a little different, but we absolutely have more things in common than not. You're not alone. And we're going to get through this together. So we've been talking through the things that we tell ourselves as women that keep us trapped in our corporate careers. What are those things? And in the very first session, we talked about misplaced loyalty, right? And then in the last one, we talked about the fact that we we live up to our commitments. We made a commitment to this organization or to this team. I can't leave. Well, today I want to focus on the concept of I can't leave because I've been working so hard to actually keep my job, right? I can't quit because I've been working hard to keep it. Now, that sort of sounds logical, but how would we get into that position? How would we get into a a position where we've been working so hard to keep our job that we can't even consider, right? It's sort of the blinders on our face. We can't even consider or see the fact that we could consider moving and doing something else. This is the most common thing that we see at Legend Leaders. We, We see all of these things, right? We see all of these reasons, a multitude of these reasons. But one of the key things that we focus on here at Legend Leaders specifically is this exact example of how we get trapped. And it's this. And I alluded to it in the very last lesson. Many times we, as women, at some point in our careers, it typically happens after we've been promoted several times. Okay? So we start off in an organization. We've been in this company for at least 10 years or more. We've gone through at least two, if not three, promotions by this point. But we get into a role where we have a, a reasonable amount of authority. We have a team that, that probably reports to us. And we have a leader. Now, this leader could be male or female. It doesn't matter. But we have a leader that we report to. And at some point, that leader comes and tells us, we're just too much. Katrina, you're just too much. You're, you're too strong. You, you're too aggressive in your communication. You're too quick to solve that problem. Right? You you're too quick to hold people accountable. Why don't you just, you know, let let other people have a chance? Or why don't you just, you know, understand that person's been with the company for 20 years. Maybe he or she deserves another chance. Just be easier on them. You're just too much. Those are some of the things that I heard in my career. They may resonate with you. You may have heard similar things or something a little different, but the, the overall premise holds true. You're too much. And when we hear too much, right, we hear that. All these things happen to us. And you've heard me talk about this before, but this one's really important. When we hear we're too much, it's just as equal as hearing that we're not enough. And none of us want to not be just right in a role that we really want to fit in. And so then we go down this pathway of, trying to fit in and stand out, right? We have to stand out to be promoted, but we have to fit in to not be a risk. And so when we're told we're too much, then we're not right, 
Okay, we're not just right, which means we feel like we're at risk of losing our jobs. All of a sudden, for the first time in our career, right? And remember, we've worked here for at least 10 years. For the very first time, we feel at risk. We've watched layoffs. We've watched all these other things happen in this organization, feeling very comfortable and confident that we were going to be still around and be able to keep our roles because we pride ourselves on how we carry ourselves, how we run our businesses, right? The pieces of the business that we own. And all of a sudden, with this one conversation, we now feel like we're at risk. So what do we do? We throw ourselves into making sure that we do a couple of things. Number one, we cannot be at risk. We have to keep our jobs. So we're going to do anything that we can to show and prove that we're here to keep our jobs. We're, we're a team player. We're part of the team. We're a problem solver. We're not going to overstep, but we're going to fit right in and show them that we belong in the organization. But the other thing that we have to do is we have a problem we have to solve, right? It's a problem we've never had to solve any before. All of a sudden, the amazing things that made us wonderful, that made us unique, that helped us get promoted, so we thought, are now issues. Those things are now putting us at risk. And so we have to solve the problem of how, how do I now succeed? How do I now bring myself to the table when I can't really be myself? And we start going through all of these mental conversations. Okay? And as things change in the world, as the company changes, as projects change, as leadership above us change, right? We're still in that focus point of, okay, I've got to fix this. I've got to save my job. I'm at risk. We wake up every morning telling ourselves that I'm at risk. Maybe today is the day I'm going to solve this problem. And then I can stop giving so much of myself to this company. Maybe I won't feel trapped anymore because I'll feel safe. I won't be at risk anymore. I can, I can keep giving and feel successful, but I can have some of my time back. I can breathe a little bit. I, I can just exist. I don't have to be on guard. I don't have to solve the problem of how do I stand out and fit in. And so we get so laser focused on solving that problem. How do I keep my job? Then how, then Think about it. How could our brains ever ask us any other question? How could our brains then go from, how do I keep this job? How do I keep this job? How do I keep this job? To, how do I leave this job? Right? It's the complete opposite. And so as you're listening to me and thinking through this, no doubt the light bulb just went ding. Right? It's so simple. It's so logical. But we don't take a step back to see it. And I see a very large, large number. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of women who feel this way. Who are so focused on keeping their job. Because they feel at risk. And they feel like they've messed up somehow. They did it. Because again, it was them. They're too much. And so because it's them, they have to fix it. So if I'm focused on fixing it, then number one, I'm not going to be good for anyone else. So why would anyone else want me? Okay, that's one of the things we tell ourselves in our head. And the other thing is I, I've got to keep this job. And so if I've got to keep it, I'm never going to consider going and doing something else. Right? Because here's the other thing, and let's just be really honest. If you're a high achiever, and I know you are, if you're a high achiever, are you really going to walk away from an organization when you feel as though you left because you weren't enough? No, no, you're probably not. The only way that you would leave is if you step back and realize that that was one person's opinion of your performance. Did you go have additional conversations? Did you clarify that in any capacity? Were there a multitude of examples? Is there a track record of you failing in that regard? The answer is going to be no, over and over and over again. But we heard one piece of information, we digested it, we took it in because that person had authority, and we've changed our entire focus because of it. It's amazing. It's, it's so powerful what we do to ourselves because we so want to be just right in that capacity. So that's how we trap ourselves. It's one of the main ways can't consider anything else because I'm focused on keeping this job. 
Are you doing that? Are you trapped right now? And is that one of the things that you're telling yourself? Have you been trying to figure out how to be enough, just right, because you've been too much before? And once you have that solved, you can actually live again. And then maybe, maybe then you could consider going somewhere else because then, then you would have something good to offer because right now, you think maybe you don't. And I'm here to tell you that you have a tremendous amount of things to offer. You are absolutely amazing. Step back and see that. Today, your challenge is to ask yourself, is this the mindset that you've been carrying around? Is this your frame of reference for why you're so tuned in and you feel trapped in your career right now? Could this be the reason? And if the answer is yes, what I want you to do is I want you to sit down and list out all the things that you're amazing at. What are the things that you bring to the table? If you can't make a list, ask your peers, ask the people that report to you, ask other people and have them tell you. Because I guarantee you what they tell you will be different than the feedback that you heard prior to. It's going to help you get out of that mindset. Okay? Come on back and hang out with me next week. I can't wait to share with you. We've got one more common mental trap that we create for ourselves as women to keep us trapped in our corporate careers. In the meantime, as always, please hit me up. Shoot me a DM. Send me a private message on one of the social media channels. Right, I'm on all of them, either me and or Legend Leaders. Definitely Legend Leaders is out there, so, so reach out on the Legend Leaders channels. I'll get back to you, I promise. I can't wait to hear from you. If you want to talk to me directly, shoot me an email, katrina at legendleaders.com, and I will follow back up with you. If you've got a very specific situation, I'm here to help. Reach out. As always, go and be legendary.